All right, comedian Michelle Wolf, the entertainer at the last year's uh, White House Correspondents Dinner, attacking the White House Correspondents Association for ditching the traditional comedian and booking historian Ron Chernow as next year's featured speaker. Wolf tweeted, quote, the WHCA are cowards. The media is complicit, and I couldn't be prouder. Also tonight, following Brian Kemp's successful gubernatorial campaign in Georgia against Democratic challenger Stacey Abrams, well, several Hollywood actors are now calling for a boycott of Georgia's film and television industry. Here's Reaction, author of the brand new book, American Entrepreneur, how 400 years of risk takers, innovators, and business visionaries built the USA. Duck and Buck Commander, CEO, the man himself, Willie Robertson, get a little grayer there in that beard, Mr. Robertson. Oh, I'm come on notice. now. No, come on now, nothing. You're getting grayer by the day. I can't believe how old you look. Well, you, uh, you're looking a little more silver as well, <laughs> my friend. Uh, and Dan Bongino, former Secret Service o uh, officer, Spygate, his new best-selling book. You know, you're, you are a rarity, Willie. Um, you guys have this hit show that goes on for years and years and years. You actually mention God in a positive way. The family prays at the ev end of every episode, uh, even with your crazy uncle. <laughs> and um, your dad who wanted to baptize me in an alligator pool. He still um, does. What? He still he does. Still does. I, I'm not doing it in an alligator <laughs> swamp. He wants to take me out. There are alligators. I've, I've seen episodes where the alligators live. He wanted to take me out there and dunk me. <laughs> He still does. Well, you know, uh, our family is uh, strong about our faith. Uh, we were we were willing to show that and uh, and never held back from that. And um, you know, I think all this this boycott, boycott this, boycott that. It's it's getting a little old, in my opinion. And um, uh, I think you know we've got to deal with the results and say let's move on and be positive. And I mean, if not, we're going to have to we we'll have to have all new entertainment for you know the left side and the right side for each other. Uh, Comedians are supposed to be funny, uh, so be funny and uh, be funny for all of us. Yeah, but, you know, I think a lot of it, we're watching a lot of sore loserism, Dan Bongino. I mean, Bill Clinton, yeah. 52 House seats yeah. he lost in his first midterm, eight Senate seats. You know, then you got real winner, lost, loses six Senate seats, 63 House seats, and that's Barack Obama's first midterm. Trump picks up the, all these Senate seats, and he only lost 37 House seats. Which, by the way, has historically always happened, and they can't handle the loss. Trump outworked him again. Yeah, wherever he campaigned for the Senate seat, Sean, they did uh, really well. But, you know, think about how, how silly and ridiculous uh, this, this entertainment industry faux boycott of Georgia is, right, Sean? So you have this entertainment industry where large swaths, are, or swaths of them are liberal, right? They work in a state largely in California on the West Coast where they have really high taxes. The entertainment industry escapes to go to Georgia, which is more business friendly, which makes them more money. They lose a race by a sliver. Hey, listen, Stacey Abrams. Did pretty well for Georgia, but she still lost. Well, and they called for a boycott of the industry that's making the money. Hey, Willie, I mean, they live in an intellectual black hole. You think of the billions of dollars places like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, they're all investing in content. It's, it's massive amounts of money. And what they're finding is family friendly, good themes, uplifting movies that have a message and aren't afraid to say they believe in God like I do and you do, they're doing well. Well, there's no doubt that uh, PG movies and movies that more people can watch uh, are more profitable. I've been to Georgia. I've seen the new studios. It's unbelievable what they're investing down there. And so uh, it, it's a it's going to be a loss. And but these boycotts have been tried before. You know, speaking of Georgia, you know, they're going to uh, years ago, boycott Chick-fil-A, uh, we were boycotted against, and uh, it, those things failed. So uh, I well, think... I don't support boycotts. You know what boycotts are? They're just a way of shutting down and silencing people you don't agree with. Dan Bongino, you know this as well as anybody. Yeah, I mean, the, almost the greatest thing that can happen to your business these days is to have some of these silly liberal groups boycott you. I mean, Sean, I went to go get a Chick-fil-A sandwich after the Chick-fil-A boycott. Well, he's talking about the line was around the corner up in Frederick in Maryland. It took me two hours to get a sandwich. I wish I had owned the Chick-fil-A when that boycott was going yeah, down. I wish I invented Chick-fil-A. I'd have more money than Willie.
We, we <laughs> all wish we owned Chick-fil-A. We can agree on that. And by the way, Cracker Barrel is <laughs> yeah. another one. I mean, look at Cracker Barrels. No, everyone wants to go there. That's right. Uh, all right, so what's up with the Robertsons? Uh, how's everybody doing there? Everybody's doing fantastic. Uh, we are ready for Thanksgiving, and that means hunting season's here. So uh, we're back in the woods and uh, still doing what we do. <laughs> we're doing what we do. Sit around, eat a lot, pray, and... And, and have a great business. So, you know what? <laughs> Dan and I work too hard. We weren't smart like oh, you, right, save Dan? Save it, save it. Oh, oh save these it. These guys okay. are geniuses, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Good to see you both.